I'm a resident of the Grand Ronde Valley and have lived in La Grande and Elgin my, most of my life, most of my entire life. I own an archery and fly shop. I've been hunting and fishing since I was a kid. The Grand Ronde River in particular is a huge part of the valley. It flows through our valley. It is the best fishery we have in the area for trout, steelhead, chinook. And I come back to these places mostly to know that they're here. Um, so I get to see them again, experience them. And you know, if I never really caught another steelhead again, as long as I know that they're there, I'd be all right with it because they're just such a special animal. It's been 40 years, you know, since the dams went in and we saw very quick um, declines in returns. There is no question um, the impacts that they have. It's just how severe any given year are they. Yeah, so we're on day three. I don't know how many miles we floated, um, and we have not landed a steelhead yet. But to really think about it, these are summer run steelhead, so they're definitely in the system now. You know, it's um, late October, they're here. And so to think, well, what would this have been in like before the dance? Would we have seen, you know, higher catch rates? higher hookup rates, and if the dams do come out, is that what we'll see, you know? And, and from an angling perspective, you know, it's not all about, you know, numbers, but boy, you sure want to return on the investment, right? And, and so, uh, yeah, it would just be, it really lets the mind wander and, and dream, geez, how much better could it be? Just protecting the the legacy of what we have here is incredibly important for us just to preserve the way of life, the reason why people live here, the reason people come here. There's a lot of recreation in the area. Guides, outfitters make their living um, showing people special places, wild things, wild animals. And I make my living providing equipment for locals who are out there recreating and for people who are coming through the area. John is not selfish about his wants. You know, this isn't a, a business decision. This is, this is purely um, to protect, as he says, you know, wild places and wild, wild things. But there is always this, this deeper commitment and this deeper sense of reality of, of why it's there, you know. They may have heard from, you know, a grandfather that told them a story of, you know, hiking into some wild place, one of our wild rivers somewhere in the basin, and just having spectacular fishing. And, and I think for a lot of people, they worry about the fact, like, that may never happen. That could be gone. What kind of business am I running if I'm not standing up for what I believe in? Uh, what kind of business am I running if I'm playing into the take mentality instead of working for something that's going to keep my business going for the next owner when I sell it? You know, this, this has to do with the business 100 years from now, just like it has to do with the ecosystem 100 years from now. Whether you're an angler, whether you're just a, uh, a rural landowner, um, a business owner, a guide, an outfitter, maybe you own a restaurant, I think that now is the time for all of us to come together and start having um, truly sincere uh, conversations of, of what is needed in the, in the event that the dams are removed. We have to start thinking about coming together because we love the fish, because we love the area, because we love the river. We have to start thinking about those things in common.